Hi, this is Jared, and this afternoon I want to take a little while and talk about the organizer, um, which is kind of viewed, I like to call it the, uh, the big brother of the navigator. So as we're familiar, we've got the navigator here with all the different options, and we're going to talk about those as well. But then we also have, if we go to that button, show organizer, or up to view palettes, organizer, we have this guy here, which in a sense is um, two views of the navigator side by side. Um, to understand this, I think we need to now take a step back and look at um, these four buttons, which are the um, project map, view map, layout book, and then the publisher. Um, You'll notice this side on the right only has three buttons um, because you can't have the view map on the right, only on the left. Um, that's because what you're doing with the organizer is taking things from the left and bringing them over to the right. So if you want this main level over in the view map, you can just bring it over there. And now we have a saved view of that main level plan. Um, likewise, you could also take um, this whole stories and bring it over. We got that all as a folder. Um, or instead of dragging that over, uh, we can go to this button right here, which is clone a folder. And now it's going to take from the project map what you want to do. So let's go stories. Um, in here, you can set up all the um, settings, like the layer combination, the scale. You can read all that um, dimensions zooming and if it's 3D, do all that. Uh, what the clone folder does, if we hit clone, it will make, that's it all at the bottom, so let's close those up. Um, you'll notice this is a different symbol. Uh, what this is, is um, kind of better linked to this area. Um, you notice here I've got my floor plans here, or I'm going to back up and I'll make this even easier to explain. If I drag this folder over so we've got the stories here in a folder and the stories here in a clone folder. If I go um, and make a new story, so um, test story, and I have story negative 3, hit OK. That appears in the stories, the stories negative 3. In the clone folder, it appears as negative 3 test story, but it doesn't appear in this folder because this folder um, is not a clone of this guy over here. So there's actually two things to point. One, clone folders are nice because you'll always have all your elevations show up in the view map as you make new views or make new uh, source markers. And that's great, but sometimes you don't want the folder to have everything. You might have, um, you might use the elevation tool for interior elevations as well as exterior elevations, or you might use the section tool for a detail and you don't want this section folders to have you know, all those views in there. So sometimes you want the clone folder, sometimes you don't, but it's in there. Um, let's see, so here we've got you know, views on both. Um, here's the, now I've got the layout book on the right and the view map on the left. Um, a nice thing about this is here's a, a um, sorry, a sheet. I can select this whole folder, drag it in there. Um, I guess I have to do it by, oh, it is. I just had to wait. What that did is it took all those views and dropped them into that sheet. So if we open up that sheet, um, these views are blank, but you can see they're all now placed there. Likewise, if I select them all and hit delete, they delete from that sheet. So instead of maybe the way you're used to dragging views to a sheet is selecting them and dropping them on a sheet. You can also do it in the organizer one by one, um, which is really nice if you spend uh, you know, a day making interior elevations or details and you want to just drop them all on a sheet. Um, there's some other things we can talk about another time about setting up sheets so that when you place views, they all align properly. Um, but that's beyond the scope of what I want to talk about. Uh, this third button here is the publisher, um, and likewise you can um, 
drag things from one side to the other. So if we make uh, a new publisher set, get untitled, open that up, you can now select you know, kind of whatever you want in there. And now these are these views, and you can select under format whether you want them to be PDFs, DWGs, um, JPEGs, all that stuff. And again, there's a lot more detail to that. Um, one thing to note, um, if you're doing PDFs, if you select, say, this folder, you can click that um, merge to one PDF file and make this a multi-page PDF, um, which, spoiler alert, is the whole reason I'm recording this video, because I'm writing uh, an article for um, Graphsoft North America's blog that talks about that, so I want to be able to point to that little button right there. Um, likewise, I think, um, yeah, no, I'm going to just talk to myself and stop talking there. Um, I'm just looking at my notes here. Oh, um, this is just a pet peeve of mine. Uh, when working in ARCHICAD, whether using the organizer or the navigator to explore the project, I always uh, personally work and like to see other users work from the view map um, instead of the project map. And I'm now going to show you guys a diagram which explains why. Um, the the short the gist of it is that if you're working in the view map, you're working on a plan here. You know whatever you see in that plan will show up on a draw or show up in a sheet because all these saved views are set. Whereas if you're working in so not saved views, but saved you know, view properties, layer, scale, all that. Whereas if you're working in um, the project map, that's not specified. And so another way to explain that is this diagram. Um, the project map, which is this first button, this is the source. So you have a first story, a second story, you have section markers, you have worksheets, you have details, you have cameras, you have schedules you have one of these, you know, you have one main level. But you can then save it into the view map, and you can save multiple views of, of that um, source. So you can have a main level plan, you can have a main level electrical plan, you can have a main level structural plan, that's the view map, so one can go into two. Um, the layout book, it's this third tab, is the same thing. These views can then go on to multiple layouts. So you can have the first floor plan show up on, you know, the A100 or A101. You can have it show up um, on a structural sheet. You could have it show up on an SK, on, you know, whatever you want. So one view, multiple layouts. Uh, and likewise, you don't need to put a view on a layout. So this view right here might just be a, a working view, something you've set up with layers and display options so it's easy to work. Um, so now that we've done, looked at the view map and the project map, now we're going to look at the layout book. So we've placed views on one or multiple layouts. Now these layouts can stop right there. This layout might be a plan that you just do a, you know, file save as or file print, or these layouts can be included into publisher sets. Uh, and this publisher set might be, um, you know, exterior views, so they're JPEGs, they might be um, PDFs, um, they could be DWGs, whatever you want to export in batch. Um, and if you're not familiar with the publisher, uh, down here you can publish selected sets, all selected items, uh, all sets, you click that publish button, um, and under Document properties, you can set some things, and if you go up to that under publishing properties, you can print, plot, save the files, you choose where they want to go. Uh, this real structure or flat is if you have folders within the um, publishing set, they will create those folders. So, for instance, um, I can make it so this interior views folder is created on my computer. Um, but if we look back at this diagram, so part of, part, of, part of what I wanted to get at is in the publisher you can publish layouts, but you can also skip the layout book and publish views. So if you need to export um, DWGs or um, PDFs or, or, or whatever um, file types uh, you want to export, you don't have to export um, 
a whole sheet, you could just say, I want to export, you know, all my structural drawings. Um, and this is where we're going to bring back to the organizer. Um, let's go to the publisher. Um, let's make a, a new one, Untitled 2. Uh, I can say, I'm going to take all my structural, bring them in there. No, sorry, bring them in there. Um, change those from format to uh, DWG. Now we hit publish, and I'm going to publish those three structural plans and not the structural sheets. So this is some great batch plotting and thinking to wrap it up here because I've said a lot of stuff and covered a lot of topics. Um, and again, this is I think just the tip of the iceberg, but I hope you learned something and I hope um, this diagram helps explain those four different buttons. So thank you very much.